Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are doing jewelry organization, and I want you to help me. Make sure that you follow me on all of my platforms, and at the end of this video, we are doing a giveaway. Am I giving away jewelry? You'll have to wait and find out. Shall we get started? Brown. I don't wear a lot of brown clothes, but I have a big brown bin. And just let me tell you, these bins that are here, they're here in Los Angeles, California with me. These are not the bins. All the bins. There's bins in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. There's bins here in a storage unit. There's bins there in a storage unit. There's a lot of bins. So this is scaled down. Now, this is rose gold. This should not even be in the brown bin. This is rose gold, not in the brown bin. I wonder who put these together. That's why I have to organize them myself. Kids, you want something done right, do it yourself. These are brown, tags still on them, 13 bucks. They've been in here for years. You know, I only have two wrists, but yet I have all these. This is cute. Now, rhinestone gray and rose gold. I'm gonna go for the rose gold with that. Oh, this is really cool. Oh my goodness, I love these. These are a little bit Harry Potter-ish, right? Feathers, little cowboy, yeehaw. And then I have the first rubber watch. So these were hot, these were in, and it was good because when I was teaching dance in the studio, I sweat and they don't grab the little hairs on your arms. I'm not very hairy, but they don't grab the little hairs on your arms. So it's great to work with. And more, pla oh, another price tag. See, that's the thing. I'd like the brown jewelry, but I don't wear a lot of brown. All right, now this bin says green, yellow. Green, yellow. Do they mean lime green? Do they mean chartreuse? What, what, what does that mean? This goes with a Camilla top from Australia. Look at that bracelet. But it opened. Isn't that beautiful? It's very Art Deco. This is going. We have emerald green, a bunch of emerald green stuff. Beautiful. Now, oh, oh, oh. Is this a Lego? Look at this. It's a Lego necklace. I think somebody made this for me. For a routine or for maybe an episode. Does anyone remember where I wore a Lego? Why I wore Legos around my neck? Does that say green? Green. How many green clothes have you seen me in? Like three, four maybe, that's it? I think we need to put the green stuff in here and leave that to yellow. Look at that turtle watch. Can you guys see that? It's a turtle. And you know the saying, slow and steady wins the race. The turtle is slow and steady. The rabbit is fast. And guess what? On my wheelchair, there's a little turtle and a little rabbit. Can you believe that? On, on a wheelchair like this, for someone that's handicapped, they use a turtle and a rabbit. So this must be the turtle, because I was late for rehearsal or late for shooting or just late. I think Jill wore the same jewelry on the show for six, seven seasons. I do. This is one of those wraparound strap bracelets. Ooh, then we have the emeralds. So pretty. Should I go buy a green outfit, maybe? Maybe? Lime green again? I, I can't even fit these on. I'm gonna have to do it on this hand. Okay, this chartreuse, these would go with the ALDC chartreuse t-shirt. Perfectly. And it's very casual. These little beads are casual. Kind of sticky though. All right, and then these are yellow. This is yellow rhinestones, not to be confused with green or chartreuse. So I'm gonna put these over there for the yellow bid. One more, one more, one more. Like I don't have enough. Oh, see the stone's missing. That's what happens when you throw all your jewelry in a bin. The stone is missing, so that becomes garbage. Oh my goodness, another green bracelet. Like, I have two wrists, and one has a watch on it. You know what I think? I think that I run out and I buy stuff because I need it the next day for the outfit to shoot, but I can't find it. That's it. My mother used to pray to St. Anthony like three times a day. St. Anthony is the patron saint of lost things. Now. Black, white, blue. What is this? Tangled mixed. Can you see that? Tangled 
mix. It should say tangled mess. Let's see what's in there. These are appliques. So I was probably going to do a black jacket or a denim jacket and have these put on. That was like big in 2000, maybe 15 or 16 or something. I'm going to go back and see who organized this stuff because I've never worn this. Obviously, it's brand new. This is a bracelet, and it's an alligator. Look at that. Now, I was probably in a store, and I saw this, and it was like, I have to have that. I have to have that. What the hell was I going to do with this? What was I going to wear this? Now, if I was in Miami, and I was going to the Miami Gators game, Ta-da, I would wear this. All right, so this is silver. Aurora, okay, this is what happened. Somebody, we're gonna find out who, just didn't wanna take the time to untangle this and put it where it belongs. So this looks like a lot of silver. This looks like black and pink. In fact, I love this necklace here. This is so pretty. In fact, I just bought a pink, light pink tank top to wear with a black jacket. And now I found the necklace. All right, so I'm gonna get some pliers and we're gonna, no pliers necessary. I did it, boom. Now this, I think that's pretty. All right, this is gonna go with the pink stuff. Quarantine. We all sat around for hours on end. Somebody could have been untangling this stuff. I could have been untangling this mess during quarantine. You know, sit around, watch TV, doing the Netflix thing, doing the, we say Hulu? Doing the Netflix thing, doing the stuff. I could have untangled all this. Now, gold. This says gold, gold. I'm interested to see what that is. And then I saw another gold. Now, I made the effort. I'm a matchy matchy person. So you cannot wear a pretty pink floral dress and red shoes. All that means is that your stylist did not go to the ends of the earth to find the perfect shoes. That's what that means. I go to the ends of the earth to find the right thing. Just saying. Oh, wow. So, this is what I call AB gold. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And that's stones that reflect light of different colors, like a rainbow. They're often pinks and purples and blues, or they could be yellows and greens, depending on the quality of the stone. So this is a big AB cuff in gold. I'm sure I wore this on the show, but it's up to you to find out what episode. All right, look at this, gorgeous. It's just stunning, but it's missing a stone. So I could go downtown, LA or New York City, and I could buy a stone that fit this. Am I gonna do that? Probably not. This is not AB gold. These are a topaz stone in a gold metal bracelet. So that should go somewhere else. I love this. I wore this so many times. You'll definitely see this on the show. Isn't that pretty? Probably wore it to the Oscars or something too. I'm not big on necklaces. I just think they cut the line of the neck, but sometimes they sell the earrings and the necklace together. So you have to buy them both. All right, now, okay, look what I found. Look what I found. What do you think it is? It's the stone from the bracelet that fell out. So I have it. So I need some glue, some jewelry glue. Earrings and earrings and earrings. Look at those. That's beautiful. For everybody that's watching that's not into jewelry, it's okay. Now, there's plain gold, which you all know what that is. There's 14 karat, 18 karat, 24 karat, or there's gold plated, uh, there's gold coated, there's just fake gold. All kind of looks the same. So, these are clip earrings. Anybody want these? Because my ears are pierced, I can't wear those. There you go. Whoa. It looks like I have a lot more work to do. Like I said, if you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. 
If you found this interesting, I mean, come on, comment below, and maybe I'll show you more of my jewelry. There's a big rhinestone cuff that has a lot of fringe on it. Oops, I still have this on. Thank you so much for watching. If you want any jewelry, let me know.